So this tutorial is going to be about how to do some advanced selections inside of Photoshop. And as we get deeper into this process, we'll learn how selections are a beginning to more advanced editing inside of this program. And it gives you a lot of control. So let's look at this painting by Rembrandt. And this is a portrait of an old soldier um, as of the title. And I got this from the Getty Open Images. And we learned a lot about selections and how the quick selection tool here will give us a lot of flexibility and also allow us to paint our selections. Uh, a few key shortcuts. The right bracket key will make your brush larger and the left bracket key will make your brush smaller. Uh, you can always go to the options bar to see exactly what the programmed brush is going to look like. Size of 500 pixels, a hardness set to 100%, and a spacing set to 25%. This is if you click and hold and drag the brush. That's how much spacing will happen between the two marks that it lays down. The hardness, you can see that you can change that hardness. And I'll just change this to about 50% for this application. It really depends on uh, how you want to negotiate the size of the brush versus what you're trying to paint. So we'll do this with a, a quick gesture here, just clicking and dragging. And I'm going to let go a few times because I want to do this incrementally. If I were just to maybe paint and drag my selection all the way down, uh, it might have a really hard time. See what just happened now? It bounced all the way to the edge and it's assuming that I want to select everything. But if I go up to my history and click on my history panel and open that, I can just go back one uh, uh, action inside of the history panel and then I can try again. And see now it's not going to um, well, it did, but then that's okay because we can uh, try to negotiate between what it's trying to do. Um, also, if the quick selection tool is kind of giving you problems like this, uh, you can always go and lasso the selection here. And let me just show you how to do that if you wanted to. Um, change this up a little bit and how you do that. So you want to add to the selection here and notice in the options bar it turns this into a plus. So then I can just physically click and drag and add to this selection. Um, this is an option because we know all of the lasso tools, we know all of the marquees, um, selection tools. So we have a whole arsenal of how to get this initial selection down. Let's switch back to the uh, paintbrush uh, quick selection here and just continue going around this. And so there we kind of uh, negotiated with the algorithm and did a little bit of lassoing just to make sure that we knew, um, we told Photoshop exactly what we wanted to select. So here, I'm just going to <clears throat> come in here a little bit closer by hitting Command Plus, and then the space bar, I'm gonna hold that down just so that I could start moving around this specific selection, and then just adding a couple of things here and there that I think I wanna include with my selection. Obviously with this brush marks, you're not gonna get something that's perfect. And you can see how it's really just wanting to select everything. I'm gonna go back in time and, and try to negotiate that. But <clears throat> here on the top of the feather, and this is a little review from last week, but if you hold down the option button here, you can subtract from a selection and then you let it go and then you could add to a selection. 
hold down the space bar to move and then I'm just gonna more or less look for any mistakes that the algorithm might have made hold down the option bar let it go to add and then it's just allowing Photoshop to find that edge a little bit more clearly so I'm clicking and holding there and then I'm gonna get a little bit more of the ear. And don't worry if it snaps out like that, just go back to your history panel and try to negotiate that a little bit better um, there. Because those two tones are so similar that Photoshop is having a really hard time distinguishing between the two. So in this case, this is an advanced selection because of how finicky this algorithm is actually being here. Um, I'm gonna come in and change my hardness. That might have a little bit to do with it. Um, and I'm gonna change it there. And if it's giving you problems, all you need to do is with the lasso tool selected to add, you can just freehand some of these problem areas that might not be um, sticking with Photoshop here and it's really good because after we do this we're gonna have an opportunity to go around again and refine what we do and here I'm gonna just switch back to my quick select and then try to refine this edge here and it shouldn't have much of a problem because there's a lot of contrast over in this area. So I'm just coming around and negotiating this border here. And this is advanced. I don't expect you to do this for every layer that you're going to be creating your surreal landscape with, but this is a really good lesson in how to get really good at making these selections. and fine-tuning and making them very believable. So I'm going to uh, do command minus and pull out of the zoom a little bit. The other thing that we're going to learn uh, today is the select and mask feature. So any of these tools have select and mask up in the options bar. Any of these selection tools will have select and mask. So selecting and masking is to refine the edge of the selection. So let's just do that. I'm gonna click this here and we can see that our whole interface just changed. And this is the refine edge uh, properties panel that's on the right. And you can see that there's a whole list of options here. First, let's just deconstruct this in the next movie and then continue uh, talking about these advanced features.